Welcome everybody, this is Alan with Daily Armor of God. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hope you're all doing alright. This is my Finishing the Bible One Year Project Day 10. So, we are using blueletterbible.org. It's a really useful tool. Um, and we're using the King James Version. And today we're going to be doing Genesis chapters 30 and 31. So... Lots of interesting stuff happened yesterday with uh, Jacob and Rachel, and I think her name was Leah. Leah was having kids, and Rachel was not. Jacob loves Rachel, not Leah. Lots of stuff like that. Now, I'm pretty sure I'll, uh, I'll come to it, but I kind of feel bad about Esau, his brother, because... I know, Jacob kind of stole his blessing. But anyway, it's about Jacob right now. So let's get started. Genesis 30, verse 1. And when Rachel saw that she bare Jacob no children, Rachel envied her sister and said unto Jacob, Give me children, or else I die. Jacob's anger was kindled against Rachel, and he said, I am... Hang on a second. There we go. I like it more wide like this. Uh, and he said, I am in God's stead. Who hath withheld from thee the fruit of the womb? And she said, Behold, my maid, Bila, go in unto her, and she shall bear upon my knees, that I may also have children by her. And she gave him Bilhah, her handmaid, to wife, and Jacob went in unto her. And Bilhah conceived and bare Jacob a son. And Rachel said, God hath judged me, and hath also heard my voice, and hath given me a son. Therefore called she his name Dan. And Bilhah, Rachel's maid, conceived again, and bare Jacob a second son. And Rachel said, With great wrestlings have I wrestled with my sister, and I have prevailed. And she called his name Naphtali. When Leah saw that she had left bearing, she took Zilpah, her maid, and gave her Jacob's to wife. And Zilpah, Leah's maid, bare Jacob a son, and Leah said, a troop cometh, and she called his name Gad. And Zilpah, Leah's maid, bare Jacob a second son. And Leah said, Happy am I, for the daughters will call me blessed. And she calls his name Asher. And Reuben went in, in the days of the wheat harvest, and found mandrakes in the field, and brought them unto his mother Leah. And Rachel said to Leah, Give me, I pray thee, of thy son's mandrakes. And she said unto her, It is a small matter that thou hast taken my husband. And wouldst thou take away my son's mandrakes also? And Rachel said, Therefore he shall lie with thee tonight for thy son's mandrake. Okay. And Jacob came out of the field in the evening, and Leah went out to meet him and said, Thou must come unto me, for surely I have hired thee with my son's mandrake. And he lay with her that, that night. And God hearkened unto Leah, and she conceived and bare Jacob the fifth son. And Leah said, God hath given me my hire, because I have given my maiden to my husband. And she called his name Isaacar. And Leah conceived again and bare Jacob a sixth son. And Leah said, God hath endued me with a good drawery. Now will my husband dwell with me, because I have borne him six sons. And she called his name Zebulun. And afterwards she bare a daughter, and called her name Dinah. Dinah. And God remembered Rachel, and God hearkened unto her, and opened her womb. And she conceived and bare a son, and said, God hath taken away my reproach. And she called his name Joseph, and said, The Lord shall add to me another son. And it came to pass, when Rachel had born Joseph, that Jacob said unto Laban, Send me away, that I may go unto mine own place, and to my country. Give me my wives and my children, for whom I have served thee, and let me go. For thou knowest my servant, which I have done thee. And Labad said unto him, I pray thee, if I have found favor in thine eyes, tarry, for I have learned by experience that the Lord hath blessed me for my sake, for thy sake. And he said, Appoint me thy wages, and I will give it. And he said to him, Thou knowest how I have served thee, and how thy cattle was with me. For it was little which thou hast before I came, and it is now increased unto a multitude. And the Lord hath blessed me since my coming, and now... When shall I provide for my house also? And he said, What shall I give thee? And Jacob said, Thou shalt not give me anything. If thou wilt do this thing for me, I will again feed and keep thy flock. 
I'll pass through all thy flock today, removing from thence all the speckled and spotted cattle, and all the brown cattle among the sheep, and the spotted and speckled among the goats, and of such shall be my hire. So shall my righteousness answer for me in the time to come, when it shall come for my hire before thy face. Every one that is not speckled and spotted among the goats and the brown among the sheep, that shall be counted stolen with me. Laban said, Behold, I would it might be according to thy word. And he removed that day the he goats that were ring straked and spotted, and all the she goats that were speckled and spotted, and every one that had some white in it, and all the brown among the sheep, and gave them into the hand of his sons. And he set three days' journey betwixt himself and Jacob, and Jacob fed the rest of Laban's flocks. And Jacob took him rods of green poplar and the hazel and the chestnut tree, and piled white streaks with them, and made white appear which was in the rods. <clears throat> he said the rods which he had piled before the flocks and the gutters in the watering troughs when the flocks came to drink, that they should conceive when they came to drink. The flocks conceived before the rods and brought forth cattle, ring streaks, speckled and spotted. And Jacob did separate the lambs and set the faces of the flock towards the ring straked and all the brown in the flock of Laban. And he put his own flocks by themselves and put them not unto Laban's cattle. And it came to pass whensoever the stronger cow did conceive that Jacob laid the rods before the eyes of the cattle in the gutters that they might conceive among the rods. But when the cattle were feeble, he put them not in. So the feebler were Laban's and the stronger were Jacob's. And the man increased exceedingly, and had much cattle, and maid servants, and men servants, and camels, and asses. Okay, um, honestly, guys, that was a little bit confusing, so <laughs> I'll have to uh, reread that on my own time. I don't want to waste you guys' time. Uh, okay, next chapter. Jacob leaves secretly for Can Canaan, and he heard. Okay, Genesis 31 1. Jacob leaves secretly for Canaan, and he heard the words of Laban's son, saying, Jacob hath taken away all that was our father's, and of that which was our father's hath he gotten all this glory. Jacob beheld the countenance of Laban, and behold, it was not toward him as before. And the Lord said unto Jacob, Return unto the land of thy fathers, and to thy kindred, and I will be with thee. And Jacob sent and called Rachel and Leah to the field unto his flock, and said unto them, I must see your father's countenance that is not toward me as before, but the God of my father hath been with me. And ye know that with all my power I have served your, your father, and your father hath deceived me and changed my wages ten times, but God suffered him not to hurt me. If he said thus, the speckled shall be thy wages, then all the cattle bear speckled. And if he said thus, the ring stock shall be thy higher than bearing all the cattle ring straked. Thus God hath taken away the cattle of your father and given them to me. And it came to pass at the time that the cattle conceived that I lifted up mine eyes and saw in a dream. And behold, the rams which leaped upon the cattle were ring streaked, speckled, and gristled. And the angel of God spake unto me in a dream, saying, Jacob. And I said, Here am I. And he said, Lift up now thine eyes and see all the rams which leap upon the cattle are ring streaked, speckled, and gristled. For I have seen all that Laban doeth unto thee. I am the God of Bethel, where thou anointedst the pillar, and where thou vowest a vow, a vow unto me. Now arise, get thee out from this land, and return unto the land of thy kindred. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> and Rachel and Leah answered and said unto him, Is there any portion or inheritance for us in our father's house? Are we not counted him of strangers? For he hath sold us, and hath quite devoured also our money. For all the riches which God hath taken from our father, that is ours and our children's, now then whatsoever God hath said unto thee, do. And Jacob rose up and set his sons and his wives upon camels, and he carried away all his cattle and all his goods which he had gotten, and the cattle of his getting which he had gotten in Padanaram, for to go to Isaac his father in the land of Canaan. And the bond went to shear his sheep, and Rachel had stolen the images that were her father's. And Jacob stole away un unawares to Laban the Syrian, and that he told him not that he fled. So he fled with all that he had, and rose up and passed over the river, and set his face toward the Mount Gilead. And it was told Laban on the third day that Jacob fled, was fled, 
and he took his brother with him and pursued after him seven days' journey, and they overtook him in Mount Gilead. And God came to Laban the Syrian in a dream by night and said unto him, Take heed that thou speak not to Jacob, either good or bad. Then Laban overtook Jacob. Now Jacob had pitched his tent in the mountain, and Laban with his brethren pitched in the mountain of Gilead. Laban said to Jacob, What hast thou done, that thou hast stolen away unawares, unawares to me, and carried away my daughters as captives taken with the sword? Wherefore didst thou flee away secretly and steal away from me, and didst not tell me, that I might have sent thee away with mirth and with songs, with tabret and with harp? And hast thou not suffered me to kiss my sons and my daughters? Thou hast now done foolishly in so doing. It is the power of my hand to do you hurt. But the God of your father spake unto me yesternight, saying, Take thou heed that thou speak not to Jacob, either good or bad. And now, though thou wouldst need be gone, because thou sore longest after my, thy father's house, yet wherefore hast thou stolen my good gods? Jacob answered and said to Laban, Because I was afraid, for I said, Peradventure thou wouldst take by force thy daughters from me. With whomsoever thou findest the good gods, let him not live. Therefore, or, sorry, before our brethren discern thou what is thine with me, and take it to thee. For Jacob knew not that Rachel had stolen them. Laban went into Jacob's tent, and into Leah's tent, and into the two maidservants' tent, but he found them not. Then he went out of Leah's tent, and entered into Rachel's tent. Now Rachel had taken the, the images and put them in the camel's furniture and sat upon them, and Laban searched all the tent but found them not. And she said to her father, Let it not displease my lord that I cannot rise up before thee, for the custom of woman is upon me. And he searched but found not the images. And Jacob was wroth and chode with Laban. And Jacob answered and said to Laban, What is my trespass? What is my sin that thou hast so hotly pursued after me? Whereas thou hast searched all my stuff, what hast thou found of all thy household stuff? Set it here before my brethren and thy brethren, that they may judge betwixt us both. As twenty years have I been with thee, thy ewes and thy she goats have not cast their young, and the rams of thy flock have I not eaten. That which was torn of beasts I brought not unto thee, I bear the loss of it. On my hand uh, didst thou require it, whether stolen by day or stolen by night. Thus I was, and the day of the drought consumed me, and the frost by night, and my sleep departed from mine eyes. Thus have I been twenty years in thy house. I served thee fourteen years for thy two daughters, and six years for thy cattle, and thou hast changed my wages ten times. Except the God of my father, the God of Abraham, and the fear of Isaac had been with me, surely thou hast sent me away now empty. God hath seen my affliction in the labor of my hands, and rebuked thee yesternight. Laban answered and said unto Jacob, These daughters are my daughters, and these children are my children, and these cattle are my cattle, and all that thou seest is mine, and what can I do this day unto these do unto these my daughters, or unto their children which they have borne? Now, therefore come thou, let us make a covenant, and I and thou, and let it be for a witness between me and thee. And Jacob took a stone and set it up for a pillar. And Jacob said unto his brethren, Gather stones, and they took stones, and made a heap. And they did eat there upon the heap. Laban called it, <laughs> bear with me, Jagar Saha Duthua. But Jacob called it Galid. Laban said, This heap is a witness between me and thee this day. Therefore was the name of it called Galid. And Mizpah, for he said, The Lord watch between me and thee when we are absent one from another. If thou shalt afflict my daughters, if thou shalt take otherwise besides my daughters, no man is with us. See, God is witness betwixt me and thee. The bond said to Jacob, Behold this heap, and between this pillar which I have cast betwixt me and thee. This heap be witness, and this pillar be witness, that I will not pass over this heap to thee, and thou shalt not pass over this heap and this pillar unto me for harm. And the God of Abraham, the God of Nahor, the God of their father, judge betwixt us. And Jacob swear by the fear of his father Isaac. Then Jacob offered sacrifice upon the mount, and called his brethren to eat bread, and they did eat bread, and tarried all night in the mount. And early in the morning Laban rose, and kissed his sons and his daughters, and blessed them, and Laban part, departed and returned unto his place. Okay guys, <laughs> that was uh, a lot of stuff happening, and I'm kind of confused. 
Um, so Laban chased after Jacob because Jacob wanted to go. Uh, and Laban, you know, basically cheated Jacob out of, treated him bad or something. But my con my confusion is this last part about this covenant or whatever. What were, what's that about? Anyway, I'll have to read it, figure it out to get some meaning for it and, and see what this last part means about the, the covenant between, uh, those two are. So... Um, anyway, let's just uh, I'm gonna do a quick prayer, guys, and uh, say, Dear Lord, thank you so much for this day. Thank you for being with us, and thank you for giving us your word for us to learn. Pray that we can continue to learn your word and draw closer to you. Thank you for everything you have done for us, Lord. In your precious name, amen. So, thank you guys so much for joining me today. Uh, very interesting stuff. I can't wait to read more. And uh, just thank you guys for being here and uh, for joining me. So, hope you have a good evening, morning, night, wherever you're at. And as always, TTFN, ta-ta for now. And God bless you guys. Thank you so much. Ta-ta. Bye-bye.